No. no. <laughs> well, my name is Roland Pritchard. Uh, my uh, business or company that I'm proposing is uh, it's called ZSP Supply. And basically what it is is I buy liquidation pallets um, from a few different locations. And most of the pallets that I buy are uh, building products, uh, plumbing, kitchen supplies, some of the high ticket items that people have to buy for their homes, vanities, those sort of things, and sell them at a deep, deep discount. Um, I can usually stick in the 40, 40 to 60% of retail, uh, the retail price of that product, um, assuming when I get it, everything is good. Now, some of the stuff I get isn't, so I have to discount it even further. It has a chip or a scrape or whatever like that. Um, so my thought was to bring, uh, uh, ease the pain of homeowners and, and people that are flipping houses and people that are renting out houses trying to remodel them. Um, the cost is, is getting out of control um, to get some of that stuff done. So, um, so I started, I, I did it with my own house. That's how I got involved with it. So now I've carried it on. I've got a warehouse space down in Payton City, uh, the industrial park. Um, so I, I've had that probably, I don't know, five, six months now. I've had that uh, area. And uh, the flea market that they had down there, I would sell at this flea market. Um, and right now, I need to organize my space a little bit. Um, my, I have just stuff piled in now. Um, so I've got to get some sort of organization, shelving, that sort of stuff, um, and stock up on certain items that people have requested. Um, so w when somebody requests something, I go on, I search for it, search for those pallets or those lots, then I'll buy those and then, and then you know, people will purchase them at a discount. Uh, so that's, that's kind of the gist of what I do there. Now, do these items come with warranties or no? They do not. They do. Other than the manufacturer, if, yeah. it's, if it's a new, you know, a new item, the manufacturer's warranty, but I don't warrant anything. Okay. It's, it's all as is, as purchased that yeah. way. Okay. Um, knowing that it's a, a return or a, you know, a, a liquidation item. Right. So, okay. so they, can, they could do uh, shelf pulls, um, they could be customer returns, they could be new items, they could, it's just all the boxes are different. And are, are there any defects in them? Some of them are, yeah. Some of them are. Yeah, some of them have. Do you see yourself opening a storefront as your business grows? Well, I would love to. That would be great. But uh, right now, the warehouse, I'm trying to make that a space where I can basically make it a store. Okay. Um, but it's not going to be on Main Street or like a big window or, yeah. you know, like just I'm trying to get the warehouse just sort out where people can come in and shop. Okay. And then I can start getting some day, uh, daily hours. Like, you know, like the evenings or something because I work full time in the daytime. So the, the evenings or the weekends, and then I always, I have it on Facebook, I have it, you know, out, out different places so that, uh, you know, if somebody need, needs or wants something, they can call me and I'll meet them at the warehouse and get it for them. So that's pretty much the option I have right now. So how long have you been doing this? Um, I've been doing this about, It's been, it's been about a year now. Okay. Um, I started, that's when I started looking for my, my house. I had to do some renovations and it was just extremely out of, out of control compared to what I wanted to get. Uh, so, I mean, I guess I could have lessened it, but why? Um, so, but yeah, I started buying those things and it, it, was, it was fine. And when I first started buying, the shipping costs were not astronomical as they are now. Like, it, it's insanely, insanity for shipping costs right now. Um, to, to the point where I actually had to go buy a enclosed trailer, 20 foot enclosed trailer, and take that and drive to Indiana five and a half hours each way to pick up a load to bring it back because of shipping. I saved like $400 doing that, even with the cost that I had. Uh, so, and that's the closest place that I can get the stuff. Um, so, but everything else is uh, more shipping, even worse. So. Kind of and you market directly to, to like contractors and I that's my um, that's my focus okay. but it's, it's wide open. Yeah. And, and I don't I don't just have um, building uh, supplies I mean there's other stuff that comes in those it like home decor and different things like that so it kind of broadens a little bit that way 
basically anything that you could think of in your house. Um, to decorate it, fix it up, do any of that sort of stuff. I, I'm trying to make that available as a, you know, like a, a, a hardware, plumbing, fixture kind of place. Yeah. The only thing I don't really have a lot of is electrical stuff, um, like plugs, switches, that sort of stuff. I have some, but not a lot. Mm -hmm. I, but I do have a lot of lighting. So. You may mention this, but so if you don't have a storefront, like how could a consumer come look at your well, that, that's what I mean. Just what, what I want to do as far as advertising and that sort of stuff. Okay. And then have office hours uh, so that I'll, so I'll be or uh, someone else will be available at the store at those hours and people can just come in and shop. Okay. But I can't, the way my warehouse is right now, I'm not going to be able to let people in there yeah. to do that. Um, it's too risky at this point yeah. until I get it sorted out because I'll be tripping over stuff. That it, it's, Right. Okay. So the, the funding that you would potentially receive from this opportunity would go towards helping to deck out the warehouse with all the organizational things you need, shelving and yes, okay. um, the, the shelving like so I can office hours. like a yeah I can open up for office hours. That's that's my main thing to do right now is to get organizations so that I can have some sort of business so to speak, uh, uh, business hours and availability to customers, um, and then advertising. That, that's huge for right now. What's been your favorite customer story so far? Like, have you been able to, you know, help somebody who's been looking for something for a long time and couldn't find anything in their price point? Oh yeah, and uh, it, yes, I've. Uh, there's, uh, there's a couple folks that uh, when I started doing this like, like a year ago or whatever, I was doing it in my driveway, working out of my garage with all my. That was my storage, and then having yard sales or whatever, and a few people would come to get to know me that way and buy some stuff, and. Uh, the one lady is a uh, well, husband and wife there. Their daughter was buying a new house and looking for stuff. And it was just money-wise, it wasn't going to happen. So when she came to my place, um, I had a big soaker cup there and uh, uh, a faucet, the whole nine. Uh, so she was like, oh my God, and then I saved her a ton of money. So whenever I opened up the warehouse down there, same lady come in and I mean, she almost wiped me out uh, when she come in, I was like, my goodness, you know, so, but she, her daughter actually furnished her, her remodeled her entire house pretty much out of my warehouse. Oh, so, nice. yeah, she saved thousands of dollars. So, it, it worked out well for both of us. So, that's, that's one of them. The, the other side of that, too, is that I've had people come and look and go, how much is that? And they're, a, like, amazed how much I'm selling it for. And they say, well, I just bought one for X amount of dollars. And I'm like, well, Take it back. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so I mean, that, that opportunity, they, they missed that opportunity. So that's my, that's why I want to get the stores open and get some hours. That way, people aren't missing it. And I'm not missing the opportunity to sell it. So, right. great concept. That's yeah. Okay, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? I don't think so. Thanks, no. sir. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much.